All right, we're back with episode two of the Gnome Warrior Let's Play. Now, when we started the beginning last go around, we uh, we basically entered this new gnome area. So now we start in Nomergon and we broke out of Nomergon and now we are helping out in new Tinkertown. So let's head down and find a new quest here. A lot of excitement. I hope you all liked episode one. Um, I'm having fun on the Gnome Warrior. I still love this little lightsaber here, so the fun continues. Now let's see what we've got going on. The Cataclysm tore open deep caves beneath Frostmane Hold, and Trogs flooded out of their warrens. They succeeded in displacing the trolls who used to live there, and they stand to drive us out if we do not act. High Tinker Mechatork hired the renowned demolitionist Carmen Palegrip to close the caves and stem the Trog advance. We've received no word about whether he was able to stop the Trogs. Would you look for him at his camp near Frostmane Hold to the south, beyond the toxic airfields? All right, we gotta venture down to Frostmane Hold. Wow, we have to venture way south. Okay, let's head that way and see what's going on. We can take in the surroundings as we go. All right. I love that kind of tinker sound. You get it in Nomergon. It's just a classic throwback. Sorry about that. A sip of Joe this morning. A beautiful morning out here. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful day themselves. How do... I wonder this often. When you're watching these videos, how are you consuming it? Let me know in the comments. Are you... I know a lot of people will have these on in the background while they're working... Some people like to fall asleep to them. What is your method of consuming this? Because I, I often wonder how people are kind of taking it in. I don't expect people to just sit and watch for 20 to 30 minutes straight. Um, though some people might. I do that on occasion. So, And here he is, Carmen Palegrip. Let's see what he's got to say. It won't be tough to collapse the tunnel, but I'm going to need my team and my equipment before I can get to the task. All right, so we gotta build a team and get him some equipment. Alright, that was a tough accent, so I'm just gonna go with this. For a job like this, I normally bring the whole crew of demolitionists. With some help in setting up the old powder, the charges, and the rest of the gear. The job gets done a lot faster. Those blasted trogs have my men caged all around Fl Frostman Hold, though. Now I'm all alone, without the personnel I need to finish the job. Well, that's concerning that his team is uh, being captured. You look like a capable warrior, though. Would you find the demolitionist, the trogs captured, and break them out of their cages? Absolutely. Watch your back. It's going to take a lot of powder to collapse those caves. I don't know whether the damnable trogs understood that uh, that when they stole my supplies and kidnapped my demolitionists. But the outcome's the same. Ain't going to be able to blow nothing up until I've got that powder back. Go south the Frostman Hold and kill any of the trogs you find. Any one of them could be carrying my kegs and powder. All right, so we need to get the supplies and we need to free some guys. So let's start dealing some damage. Is this guy elite? What? Just an elite beefy mob here. Can I take him? Interesting. Okay. I mean, this is big time bashing here. I don't even need shield slam because I don't have a shield anymore. I'm surprised that there's... What the hell? Where's he going? Nice. And we got shield block now. But the problem with these shield skills is we just don't have... Um, the means to use. I'm out of range. Alright, so we got it down... We need them to drop these kegs. We need to free our buddies, so we just kind of break these open. Okay, so simple enough. Kind of a classic WoW quest. I won't complain about this. Run around. Knock down a couple of fellas, and then uh, loot a couple of things. Um, Alright, let's find a couple more of these. It's somewhat of an expansive area, so... Here they are. They're just kind of anywhere. Okay, that works. Whoa. That guy flipped me. There's always these relatively new animations and things that happen in, in modern WoW that startle me, because I'm so used to classic. I played so much classic, I was really playing hardcore heavily. So it's always interesting to come into 
retail and play. It's like, it's, it's always very easy. Like two mobs, I would not be concerned about, or sorry, I'd be very concerned about in classic. And this, it's really no problem. I'm not even losing health. It's a totally different experience. But it's fun, nonetheless. All right, let's loot these kegs. Oh, I always forget about the area looting. So if I kill multiple mobs in an area, I only have to loot one of them and it brings everything together. So if you saw there, I, I got two kegs out of that. All right, downing a couple more rock jaw marauders. They're going down well enough. One more of those, and we actually need three more cages. So let's head over towards it's this cage and maybe get that. And we have another cage over here, but let's pop this guy first. I'm out of range. Cool. All right, we need one more fella freed and then we can continue our push. We might as well knock a guy down on the route. Great. And one more to free right here. Okay, easy enough. Just a simple relaxing morning quest, a little productivity in the morning. So now we've freed a couple of the demolitionists. We've gotten the explosives. We're going to head back to Carmen and see what he's got in mind. Now, I expect uh, something explosive, but let's see what he's got thinking. Carmen Pilgrim. How are you? Safe oh, hold on. We got a guy on us here. You have my own mis my own thanks. And Oh, we started to read it. Nice. Got the kill. Okay. What's on your mind? Well, did you recover me missing supplies? Well, now that's more like it. We may get around to blowing something up, after all. Off with you. you have my own thanks and thanks of the men you rescued. I've already had the boys start setting up the gear down inside the cave. Should be ready to go soon. Safe my team has finished up the powder kegs and the detonator at the bottom of the cave in the western part of Frostmane Hold. All you need to do is venture down there and activate the detonator to explode the powder and collapse those tunnels. That'll stop the flow of trogs from the deep parts of the earth. Mechatork will have an easier time at dealing with the remaining trogs if you can take out their leader, who calls himself Boss Brueger. Good luck, Beefy Tank. Alright, so this is a big task to put on me. But they want me to head into the hold, take out the boss at the bottom of the hold, and then detonate the bombs. So this is about to be a bit of a mission we're on here. Let's see what we can deal with. Uh, that guy's asleep, so I'm just going to run around him. Sometimes I feel like in Retail WoW, Movement is faster. I just feel like I run faster, but it could be because I'm a gnome. Typically, a smaller character appears to move a little bit quicker, as opposed to, like, a tauren, you know? Victory Rush is a great skill. So we... I talked about this a little on the last episode. We get to use this after we kill someone. It gives us a heal, so it encourages just, like, pushing... Um one after the other, continuing the fight. You don't have to stop to heal. I don't know that you even really need to stop and drink or eat food in retail WoW anyway. I enjoy a lot of these guys sleeping. It really makes this process smoother getting down here. There's Boss Brueger. Alright, let's take down his minion first. Oh, no, he's on us anyway. That shouldn't be a problem, though. I'm not super worried about it. Uh, down the little guy. And then get a heal off on Brueger. Great. Yep, he's going down easy. There's all the bombs to detonate, so we'll set that off in a minute. But this is a beefy fella, too. He doesn't realize he's up against beefy tank, though. What an interest. The models have all changed. It's really... It's kind of refreshing in some ways to see. It, it, I lose a little bit of the nostalgia of Classic WoW. But um, the models definitely look a lot better. 
particularly for something like a trog, which was not a great looking thing before. All right, ready? Detonate the trog tunnel. Run! Uh, am I just heading back out? I think I am, I'm, I'm assuming. Yep, we're heading back out of the tunnel. Wow, we blasted our way through. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, these guys being asleep again really makes getting out of here easier. I'm just running for it. That's going to be the plan. Book it for the exit, as they say. Is this it? No, I've been duped. The Rockjaw Fungus Flinger. That doesn't sound like something you want to mess with. Whoops. Alright, back to Carmarn. I could feel the explosion all the way up here. My boys did a fine job rigging up that blast, but it wouldn't have happened without your help. It's only fair that I split my contract payment with you for helping me finish the job. That's a nice guy, and we got some friction gloves out of it, so let's toss those on. We also got a new skill called Pummel. Pummel is our interrupt, so I typically plot my interrupts here. Um, okay. Well, it's time to start packing up and moving on to the next job. These guys are busy. There's always something else to blow up out there. Somewhere, there's a mountain needs moving or a gorge that needs carving, and I'll be there to do it. I don't suppose you'd do me one more favor? Would you take this report back to High Tinker Megatork in New Tinkertown? He needs to know that the Trogs won't be bothering his people again anytime soon. So my understanding about the Trogs from a lore perspective is that they come up out of the ground. So the dwarves mining basically got that down so deep that the Trogs come up from out of underneath the earth, basically. And so by exploding that detonation there, we sort of blocked them in, I think is the thought. So they're stuck underground. That's why you see trogs in places like Nomergon, um, places like Underground. That's sort of the lore behind them, as far as my understanding goes. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I like to do a deep dive on the lore. <clears throat> okay, back to town. Back to Mechatork. Can I read the report? Ah, I can't. You used to be able to read these reports that you'd pass around. Which I always thought was kind of fun for this type of immersion. There's always time to tinker. Perseverance is the true blueprint. The high of tinker success. reads Carmine's report. Splendid news. With the trogs taken care of, we should be able to turn our attention to Crush Cog's troublemaking. For our old enemy, Thermoplug, is doing his best to keep up from rebuilding keep us from rebuilding and finishing our reclamation of Nomergon. He sent one of his most loyal henchmen, Razlo Krushkog, and a force of irradiated gnomes to harry us. They've taken over an old arsenal up the road to the north. Krushkog's technicians are repairing those weapons. We have to stop them before they're able to get those mechano tanks back online. Go to Krushkog's arsenal and eliminate as many of the technicians as you can. I'm counting on you. It's kind of wild that, ooh, we have another quest too. Salutations! Hinkle's Fast Blast. Great name. We've lost more than a couple scouts trying to find out what exactly Razio Crushcog plans to do with all those mechano tanks these irradiated technicians are repairing. We can't afford to take it slowly anymore. We must act before Crushcog turns his followers and his weapons on us. This techno grenade packs enough explosive power to destroy the mechano tanks and deny Crushcog their use. Take it north with you along the road to Crushcog's arsenal. Take out those tanks. Daylight's burning. It's wild to me that they're, I mean, I guess it makes sense for the game, but like, I'm just a little gnome that rolled out here, was dealing with radiation from in Nomergon, and they've sent me on these insane missions. I'm going after a huge henchman, Krushkog, just trudging into his full base by myself. I mean, that's a lot of trust. Now this is cool. Look at this. It looks like a giant, like, okay, we actually have militia here to help out. Good. But it's like a hangar or something. I don't even know. All right, this is pretty cool, I have to admit. So we get to repair some tanks, and then we have to take out some of the minions. 
This is cool, actually. I had no idea this whole starting zone was like this. I haven't started a gnome since they've made the change. I love that they, whatever item, like I need to use this item on these tanks and just move, when I get close it, look, see my mouse just changes. That's a very quality of life change there. Oh, we got a couple mobs on us, boys. Let's absolutely pump. All right, we need to take down eight of these. Somehow this massive battle suit is not really doing any damage to me. That still bewilders me, but I don't know. It's We're essentially running a massive siege right now, which is kind of cool. Crush Cog and his crew have rebuilt these Mechano tanks, and now we're just taking them down. It seems like the we're fighting against our own gnomes, but they've been radiated and gone insane, I guess? To work for Crush Cog? You don't love that. I need like an execute, a finishing move. All right, we're ready for turn in, so I just have to pump a couple more guys. Nice. Nice. Finish him off. And there, that'll be our last guy. Oh, we actually have a couple here. There we go. Alright. How much gold do we have? 55 silver already? That would have been outlandish at level 7. Back in the old days, but alas, here we are. Now, what is this? Do I get a mount or anything at this level? Wait a minute. I can't transmog my gear just in the middle of nowhere, right? That'd be crazy. I don't know, can I, let's, let's see what the mount situation is. I don't think I can mount up until level 10 or something. Huh, I don't know. All right, we're headed back hey. to New Tinker Town. I'm out of range. The more I per proceed along this quest line, I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> is there something on your mind? That should set back Crush Cog's plans a bit, but we can't rest until he's defeated. Shilbury's Valley is secure. Never reject an idea out of hand. Greetings. Mechatork will be pleased to hear that you've ruined Crushcog's plans to use our old weapons for his followers. Without the Mechano tanks under his command, he'll be weak and vulnerable. Seeing you. Kelsey Steelspark. Well, High Tinker Mechatork, his military advisors, and I finalized the plans for the attack on Razio, Razlo Crushcog. I've sent my assistant ahead to Brunal Village to begin preparations. To get to Bruinal Village, follow the road southeast out of town. Once you arrive, find Jarvie's Shadow Step. See if he needs any help. Our dwarven cousins have dispatched a cater of mountaineers from Ironforge to join us in the fight against Crushcock. Okay, cool. So we're going to be off to Brunal Village. Let's head down there. Look, if we get the monk trainer, everybody's here. All right. <clears throat> They've done a lot of work to optimize the questing, the gameplay, the storylines. I mean, I, that's why I think these immersive gameplays are so fun, is there's a real story being told here that you so often skip, and it's really enjoyable to check it out. So I'm really kind of having a fun time going back, especially to these starter zones that have changed. Like, this is Brunel Village. It did not look like this previously. It looks awesome. There's an ale and wine vendor here. You can sell all of your junk items. That's 
That's great. I mean, see you soon. very cool. Now, Jarvie Shadow Step. Let's see what's going you? on. Ah, uh, yes. Kelsey told me to expect you. There's still much to do before we can take on Crush Cog. Off and away. We have reliable intelligence that Raslo Crush Cog has taken up a defensive position on the island in the middle of Frozen Ice Flow Lake. To make matters worse, he surrounded himself with a network of sentry bots that will detect any possible attackers. That's not good. If we're to take on Crush Cog, we'll need to take out those sentries. This device launches a dark, sticky paint that will coat the optical sensors of Crush Cog's sentry bots. Use it to take out his early warning system. Right. Wow. Okay, that is going to be where we pick up episode three. We're going to call this episode two. Thank you for watching. We're going to continue on the at, next episode should be fun as we close out this storyline or get close to it anyway but go ahead and like the video subscribe to the channel for more and we'll check you back in the next one thanks guys